What's good, YouTube? It's your boy D V the A. Today we're gonna be reacting. Well, today we 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 we. Let me stop playing, brother. <laughs> today we're here to find out if John Cena is the final megastar that WWE ever produces. Something is telling me Solo Sokoa is going to be a megastar. Something is telling me that Austin Theory is going to be a superstar. We don't know. I did a video reacting to who is the next superstar of WWE. If y'all want to, I want to check it out. I mean, I did it like last week, a couple days ago. So it won't be too hard to find. I could put it at the end of this video. But hey, first time on Crushana, please subscribe. I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers. I'm only like 100. I'm only like 150 away. So if everybody that watches this subscribes right now, I'll hit that goal. I was trying to hit 3,000 subscribers before New Year's. And I'm almost there. I can do it with the help of you. So please help your boy out. Hey man, without further ado, let's get into this. This aggression era, he asked for the next big wrestling superstar to step up to the table and prove to him they had what it took to carry WWE future. It was a time when The Rock and Stone Cold were nearing the end of their time with WWE and a new generation defining star was desired. This man still using a whole bunch of music. Kentucky that trying was to... a young John Cena who took up wrestling just trying because to get me he wanted to try it out. Music and playing. he ended up signing with WWE Developmental, Ohio Valley Wrestling. WWE's developmental system had guys like Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton. But... Also reacted to another video of um, apparently WWE is recreating superstars. So like, I'm trying to think. Trying to think of an example. Braun Breaker. Wait, his name Braun Breaker, right? Yeah. Braun. Yeah. I think that's his name. I can't. I don't, I don't know. I'm tired. I, I just got off work. Well, look. Him. Right? Do the NXT. NXT champion right now. They compare him to Goldberg. Then they compare Theory to Cena. And they compare Carmelo Hayes to um, Jericho. And then it was, another, it was a lot of different comparisons. That you if you if you really sat back and look at it. And think about it is very true. So y'all need to check that video out too. Batista and, and then course, maybe I'm, I'll put it into this. I'll put it into this. Cena. So you'd have to stand out to really catch someone's eye. But what in the world? He got dreads. What is that? Happened by accident. They were scouting well, he had dreads. Partner Rico and Cena caught the eye of everyone with his look and comedic flair. Slowly thereafter, he made his debut, telling Kurt Angle the one quality he possessed that separated him from the rest was ruthless aggression. aggression from here cena struggled a bit in fact he had been told that he'd be getting his release until he found his way with the doctor of thugonomics character from here it was only upwards for john cena he organically got over as the doctor of thugonomics where he just dropped bars on people as his popularity grew and wwe transitioned their product he was transitioned into an american the big patient. show then he big was transitioned show to complete babyface john cena where the main audience Cena was catering to were children. I ain't gonna lie. I think that was my favorite shirt right there. That one right there with the bulldog on the back. That one was dope. That right there is when Cena was tough. Cena. I don't know about that John right Cena there. Was catering to were children. The guy would main event WrestleManias, star in movies, and grant more make a wishes than any other celebrity, and solidified himself as one of WWE's biggest stars ever. Through it all, he became WWE's biggest star. No matter what you think of the guy, he was the only one capable of doing what he did for the period he did it. That frankly is not debatable. We're at a time now where we don't see John Cena as much anymore, and for as Probably many ever, years bro. as he's had, but he'll be perception back. has changed on him. He'll be back next week. He's seen in that same light as some of the biggest megastars in WWE. But is he the last megastar in WWE? WWE has seen so many generation-defying performers in the past. Bro, I said Martino. Martino, to Hulk Hogan, to The Rock, and Stone Cold. These competitors transcended their generation. Whether it was Hulkamania running wild, or The Rock and Austin killing it week by week. I also did a reaction a couple days ago of who was the biggest draw for WWE. And it came. I came to the conclusion that it was between Stone Cold and... And Hulk Hogan, but I ultimately came to Stone Cold because Stone Cold still has catchphrases right now to this day. What? 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 Oh, okay. What? What? He still has catchphrases to this day that people are using. And it's crazy. Because I don't think nobody else has catchphrases that's still going on. 
Even when he's not there, this crowd is still saying what? That's crazy. Think about that. In the Attitude Era, these guys all appeared on different media outlets, commercials, movies, and brought their star power outside the world of pro wrestling to help themselves become bigger stars and promote the company. The Attitude Era was when wrestling was at its peak popularity. It was edgy, it was creative, and it also had a mystique for a lot of people. It's all these young Michael Cole. <laughs> they used to bully that man. The mainstream. Especially the, the rock. Back then was you could get away with summer. a lot more. Or sunny. The product had an edge to it, and sadly, people just cared more about pro wrestling. When the Rock and Stone Cold. I wonder how Linda looks right now. How is, I wonder how Linda's doing. They never show Linda no more. They ain't show Linda since the early two thousands. I think they got a divorce, but I, I'm sure she still owns some of WWE. But they. They just gotta show her at least once. I just wanna see how she look now. Cause Vince looks super old now. Like his bag's crazy huge. Left WWE, a new generation was ushered in. A man don't be getting no sleep. Era. We saw guys like Brock Lesnar, John Cena, and so many others. During the Ruthless Aggression era, the product was still edgy, but not to the extent the Attitude Era was. It was this same time where John Cena was on the rise with his thugonomics gimmick. Every week, Cena would come out and drop bars, make fun of people for being fat, and so many other things that I just can't say. It was funny, and he genuinely endeared himself to the crowd. And then... Well, the wrestling world in shock today, former champion Chris Benoit found dead in his Atlanta home along with his wife and young... ...he took place. This painted because of the barbaric... ...and how much... Oh my gosh. ...families again and say yes, family... I did a video on that like a couple of days ago. If y'all want to know anything about that, check out other videos. That's why I skipped it because it's a repeat of what happened already in the other video. Product. Well, that's a. It was a video on why PG, why the PG era, basically killed WWE. Basically, the ratings went from five thousand or five million viewers in Attitude Era to like one million currently. So. Yeah, check out that video. You'll see it. Wait for another day. It was last week. Turning WWE also meant that they had to change the way their characters behaved on screen. So a lot of that edge that was left in the Russian era was almost completely gone. This made it harder to establish characters because they were limited to what they could post to before they could walk the line or even cross it. It stripped away everything that made wrestling wrestling. As for John Cena, he was being pushed as the big star in WWE. His character changed too. He was the poster child for this. Yes, sir. That's that shirt with that bulldog on the back. Kids. He was the one doing the make-a-wishes for the company. He was the one appearing on TV shows. And he was the one this new generation was built on. If you up in the 2000s and witnessed John Cena in the earlier days, chances are you have a great place in your heart for him. Yes. And he won Fun fact, me and John Cena got the same birthday. When you over a fan was this blend of Cena winning over us kids who watched him in the Ruthless Aggression era, mixed with him winning younger kids who grew up in the B era that added to his star power. Got an alarm that's about to go off. Let me stop it right now. He carried fans he made in the Ruthless Before Aggression era into the PG era, then used the era to build even more fans, because there were simply just more people watching wrestling. Like I mentioned before, more people were watching wrestling. More people had eyeballs on John Cena. So this mixture of people that he connected from from 2013 to 2013 where he made the most impact. When WWE made this transition, WWE marketed John Cena perfectly as the guy who... And how long ago was that? It looked blurry. Quit. Kids got behind him. Bro, I need that belt, bro. I need it. I need the title, bro. I need that title. I gotta buy it. 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 Gotta buy it. Gotta buy it. The worst it had ever been. People were dying for a change because they were sick and tired of the Two PG. copy-paste formula. During this time, said, WWE too, PG. expanded their viewership even more, and people from different countries became aware of the name John Cena. He'd be on posters, trading cards, box perfumes. He was even a damn garden gnome. So much marketing behind Cena, and his appeal became global. When people thought of WWE, they thought of John Cena. Yeah, they sure did. Cena's I think that's still the case to this day. People don't think about no Roman Reigns unless it's the current uh, modern day fans, them to deliver, and the newer did. fans. Would hear wrestling, and the first thing that would come to mind was John Cena. Yep. He brought in a mixture of outside viewers, goodwill, and above all else, eyes to the product. A few years ago, when he started to transition to part-time schedule, star power only became more appreciated. 
And w- Man, it's not even part time no more. Like, even if he's still under contract, which I'm sure he is, he's well, he is. It ain't no part time schedule, bro. It's not part time, bro. Cause you're never there. Yeah, one match every year now. One. Maybe two. I understand you're busy recording stuff and filming and all this kind of stuff, but come on, bro. Come on, bro. We miss you, bro. We miss you. We miss you. You're getting old, I understand. But after you hit this certain age, like when you get up there with The Rock, age, age-wise, then you can make all the movies you want because we know you're too old to get in the ring. But you're not too old yet. So continue to give us some good matches because I want to see you pass Ric Flair. You already talked with him. I want to see you pass him. That's just... Would y'all be upset if John Cena passed Ric Flair? Let me know right now in the chat. WWE didn't know what to do. I want him to pass Ric Flair. And I want Randy to tie Ric Flair. Early 2016, John Cena had I think both of them deserve it, bro. Schedule. He had done everything he could and brought WWE to great heights and places in the world that they had never been. It's around this time when WWE started to find their next star. As the product had restrictions, it became tough for people to organically break out, even though some did. WWE were restricted in what they could make these guys say and do. They failed to capture that genuine star aura and just started fast tracking people. Here's where Roman Reigns comes into the mix. Roman Reigns was being presented as the next John Cena. He was the guy Vince McMahon believed had the ability, look, and mainstream appeal to carry the company forward. Plus, Vince knew that he had ties with one of his. And all of us hated him. I was one of them. Fans knew what WWE was trying to do and immediately hijacked the whole thing. To the point that Cena had to come back full time for a little bit because they were missing that guy that people see. And I don't think Cena's void has been filled ever since he transitioned to a part time schedule. And I don't know if it ever will. Oh, won't. It won't. When I ask wrestling fans, is John Cena wrestling final megastar? A majority will agree that he is. And he's the last household name. I don't know, man. I think Seth Rollins could do it too. I'm not gonna lie. I think Seth Rollins could do it. I really think Seth Rollins could do it. Also, I met Seth Rollins before at the airport. It's pretty cool. He wasn't cool. He was kind of mean to me, but it made me upset a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. He was walking by himself, and I was sitting there in the, in the little chair waiting for him. Waiting, just sitting there waiting with my little, my little headphones in, looking at my phone. I look up, I'm like, I was like, bro, I was like, no way. I left all my stuff. I didn't care about it. I was like, somebody steal it? Oh, well. I didn't care about it. I left my bags. I left everything sitting right there. I was like, um, Seth? He was like, he had headphones in. He was like, yeah, what's good? Well, he didn't say what's good. He said, yeah, what's up? And I was like, can I please, like, can I please take a picture? He was like, he got, I think he got mad. I think he got mad because he kind of did one of those, like, he did one of those, and then he didn't even smile in a picture, bro. I got mad, bro. Like when I look back at it right now, I c- I could pull it up, but it might take a minute. I could pull it up before this video ends, but like it made me upset, bro. Cause like he got mad. Like he didn't have to give me an attitude, bro. Like I don't know if I was the only person that came. I think I was the only person that had came up to him, cause he was just relaxing. Either I was the only person that came up to him, or a whole bunch of people had came up to him. I don't know, cause nobody was around him when I did when I came up to him. But I ain't no telling if somebody else came up to him after that. But there is a yeah. portion, however, that bring Roman I, Reigns as I think Seth could be a mega star. The road that Roman Reigns has had to get to where he is now has been well documented, and he's hitting his peak right now. It's amazing. But I think there's a deeper problem here. When John Cena was carrying WWE extreme popularity. Yeah, John Cena was the big guy on the posters and the merchandise, but programming-wise, he had someone to deliver with to get you entrenched in the product. Cena had Randy. If not Randy, he Look, bro. Look at his face, bro. Oh, hold on. Look at his... Look at his face, bro. Oh, my gosh. Look at his face, bro. 
He didn't want to take the picture with me, man. It's all right, though. It's one day, edge. one day when this channel get big and I get to meet you, Seth, I'm going to show you that picture. I'm going to show you that picture, Seth, one of these days. If not Edge, he had CM Punk. If not him, there was a roster filled with other great characters that John Cena could construct a personal and engaging for Roman, who does he have? Seth Rollins is the closest that comes to mind, and even in middle at best of late. WWE has done a poor job of building stars, and even if Roman Reigns is their big star, it's like, well, who else? It's also the amount of time it's taken Reigns to get to where he is, and it took a lot of work. John Cena, six years into his career, had organically gotten himself over fans. Roman Reigns is in his sixth full year of single competition, and now have fans really started to warm up to him. Them struggling to build him up is twofold. First is social media. When Cena was carrying That's WWE, true. there was no sure social, media. social media was around. No, it wasn't. Never to the extent it is today. Nowadays, people want to go with the status quo. When they saw Reigns getting pushed, people were like, "No, we're gonna reject this guy." And then other people hopped on the bandwagon. That was pushing him too hard, though. It was the cool thing to do, and it was. The Social media. No, they was pushing him too hard. Second is they was giving him every win. People are not watching wrestling as much as before. It's that smaller viewership, which is the cause of people rejecting stars, because that smaller viewership are the hardcores who want it there. People always say The Rock. They always bring his name into the conversation when it comes to Roman. Oh my gosh, Roman going skinny in that. When that match does happen, it's gonna bring a lot of eyes to Roman Reigns. What's he gonna do until then? After bringing guys like Cena and Lesnar to continue to build a guy like Reigns, because the fact of the matter is, that roster is very talented. It is true. I never thought about that. That's why they keep putting, up, putting him up against Brock. Because Brock right now is the biggest attraction in WWE. He's the biggest attraction. The most viewers come when Brock is there. It's already been proven. That's why they keep. That's why they had him go up against Brock so many times. Because whenever he would beat Brock, it would make him look better. And it all makes sense now. But there is a severe lack of top tier characters. I understand his appeal in markets like India. People love him there. Say the name Roman Reigns to an everyday person, they'll have no clue. I'm not saying Roman Reigns could never get to that point. It takes a couple of marquee feuds to get to that point. But where are those? in moments i asked in my community poll the other day and people said roman reigns i try to remain as objective as i can in these videos but no roman reigns is nowhere close to the star john cena was at nah. the same point in his nah. and it's simple Cena is the goal watching as much it took Cena's a the goal. turn to get reigns over. also did it i also did a video on uh who is the goat so check that video out too sway a majority of fan opinion in a different direction for him I say seen as a go. He did over the past few years, simply a smart decision. And they had the nerve. They had the nerve to put Roman in that. Times, if we would have met head of the table Reigns in 2017, he would have been a bigger star by now, and probably the same babyface on Cena because the hey, it's the green shirt guy. And it's course by now. If you know, you know. Well, I do agree that Reigns is this generation's defining star for the WWE. I don't think he compares. Cena Not and even Reigns close. are two different cases, and the question I'm asking is... <laughs> I think Randy's more popular than Roman, for sure. There are simply not enough eyes on wrestling for people to care. People do not care about pro wrestling. It's almost laughable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got a little too much dip on your chip there, my boy. Relax. People do care about wrestling. Have you not seen AEW? Have you not seen their loyal fans? Have you not seen... I just did an ECW crowd reaction, literally right before this one. So check that one out, because ECW fans are crazy. They, they were crazy. I literally just did it before this. So go check it, check out that video. But um, don't say, don't say that again, there bro. There are simply not enough eyes. Don't, on don't say that again, bro. People to care. People not care. About yes, we do. Wrestling. That's why we get it's mad. It's laughable. It's simple. Wrestling's appeal is not as high as it. That formula means whoever the next guy is, more likely they. Have the same reach as this person in it's a continuous cycle whatever bro john cena is truly underappreciated for what wwe transition ran with it and took the company on the back with him this was thanks to how he had already built himself up in the regression era 
sure things didn't always go swimming Cena mm. did a job that i don't think anyone else on that bro. roster could find. he's repeating stuff but again WWE places they've never been help bring goodwill back to the company after some times he was the guy who took WWE image and shaped it corporately to find a generation he became the poster boy became a household WWE was simply a launching point for this man and it took his hard work and ability to excel at what he does that made him the star today. Whether we're going to see anyone achieve those heights, I mean, maybe. I doubt there's ever going to be another. I think somebody will be another. I think there will be an another I'm megastar. Out. Like I mentioned before, it's a continuous. There's going to be another megastar. Star that leads another. That next star always possesses less star power than the previous one. Just a cycle of how things go, especially in wrestling. I truly think that John Cena last can't miss guy. It's simply linked with guys are on the product and wrestling steady decline. What more can I even say? Whether it's from wrestling, yeah, or even me, people know the name John Cena. Everybody knows the name John Cena. But I'm gonna leave it up to you. Can't believe he fumbled Nikki, bro. Oh my gosh. Can't believe he fumbled Nikki. Think there will ever be a star who transcends it? John Cena. I would appreciate it a ton if we were all to logically discuss this. I know this is going to cause a lot of debate. Please keep it logical. Be respectful to each other. We're some pretty hard times. Bro, what are you talking about? Stay safe during times out of them. I don't even know he was talking about at the end right there. But look. Do y'all think there's going to be another megastar? I think there will be another megastar. I think Seth Rollins has the ability to be a megastar. I really do. Seth Rollins can talk on the mic. He's a crazy athlete. I think Seth Rollins could be that guy. I really do. If they give Seth Rollins, you know, some more, which he's already... Oh! He's already going crazy with that right now. He's already going crazy with that. And that was in Cardiff. I said a castle. It was there. So it's showing you that it's global. They was doing it in, uh, what's the other one? Crown Jewel too. It's global. It's global. It's global. Seth Rollins could be that guy. But they're not going to give it to him because they got Roman. But up next, I don't know who who's going to be the up next guy. I think Theory could be, man. I really do think Theory could be. I don't know what it is about Theory. Like, I really like Theory. I, 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 I'm I, starting to like Theory. I don't, I didn't like him at first, but I, I'm starting to like Theory. He's starting to grow on me a little bit. Same with uh, Rhea Ripley. I didn't, at first, I didn't really like Rhea Ripley that much. But I love Rhea Ripley now. I really love Rhea Ripley now. So, let me know what y'all think. Who does, who's the next megastar, man? Let me know who y'all think in the comments. But without further ado, man, like the video, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy D-Rib, man. I'm out.